All right, y'all, here we go. While I paint on this Reborn Baby doll, excuse my head, I'm going to tell y'all <laughs> my story. This is an update so y'all don't have to go looking for the video. As y'all can see, she's got that detail in her paint. Look at her. Y'all see it? Yeah, this is Lulu that I'm working on. So I'm going to be painting her arms. I already painted her head, this layer, and I got to bake her. So, everybody wants to know my story on how I became a reborn baby doll artist. Well, it started a few years ago. I will be reborning for seven years in June of this year. It'll be my seventh year anniversary. But how I got started, I actually was making products for kids. I was making like tutus, hair bows. Uh, you know what? Let's rewind all that. All right. So it all started when my daughter got sick. She got sick with bone cancer, osteosarcoma. And at that time, I was working at Hertz. Okay, so the way that that works is when she got sick, I was able to take FL FLMA, but you know, you don't get paid for FLMA when it's a family member. So eventually I end up losing my job because at the time we were in Oklahoma, and in Oklahoma, at that time, you had to be there while your child was getting chemo. So I didn't have anybody to sit up there with her at the hospital, etc. So fast forwarding, we moved to St. Louis, Missouri, because they specialize in the kind of cancer that she had. So we end up moving here, and I end up drawing my unemployment, which the they fought me for, but I end up winning because it was family circumstances. So fast forward <laughs> I end up meeting Gary and I had three kids and when we end up finally being in a relationship I was not working at the time I was drawing unemployment and my unemployment eventually ran out and I was like Gary at this time we are now living together I was like Gary I can look for a job etc you know, and he's like, no, you don't have to do that. We'll make it. We'll make it work or whatever. And I just felt that, you know, it was already a lot. It's me and my three kids. It ain't just him. So I was like, I'm going to try to do something. So I start making baby products. And it was going okay. It brought a little extra change in the house. But I just felt that I had to do something because... You know, he took us in and he didn't have to take on that responsibility. So y'all know the baby world is so saturated and I needed a lifelike product, a lifelike product, <laughs> a lifelike baby to model my products, you know, so they'll sell better. And so I start looking for a lifelike doll. And in the midst of me looking for a lifelike doll, I ran across the reborn baby dolls. The first doll I got, they had the Reborn Baby Doll tag. And I knew a little bit about, about tags and SEO. Well, when I got that doll, it wasn't what I was looking for. So I went back to do another search using the term Reborn Baby Doll. And boy, let me tell you, <laughs> the dolls that pulled up, oh my gosh, they were amazing. But at that time, I could not afford to get one. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to do some research and I'm gonna try to see if I can make my own doll to model the products that I was making. Well, I did my research and what I did, I made a list and I was like, okay, everything that I need to get every time I sell an item, I'm gonna purchase something that I need to make the doll. Okay, fast forward. <laughs> I finally made my doll. And I was in some reborn baby doll groups at the time. I made a post and was asking people opinion. Well, someone took interest in the doll 
and end up purchasing the doll. And the doll was too dark for what I was trying to do at that time. So I end up selling my first doll that I made, y'all. I end up selling my first doll that I made. But then I made another one. I posted that in the group. Someone took interest in that doll. So at the time, they were interested in the reborn baby dolls that I was doing because of my rooting. So for the first one and a half years, I was just rooting. Rooting is where you're actually installing the hair on the reborn baby doll. And I didn't want to be known as a rooter. I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but I also enjoy painting the dolls. So I stopped taking root jobs and I started making the babies more. And everybody knew I was new and they was like, okay, well, we can't get you to root a baby for us. We still want a baby from you because of the rooting. And it, it, it went from there, y'all. They allowed me to get better and better and better at my craft. And like the first four years, that's all I did was customs. I did customs. And then after that, I start doing the surprise babies. And I didn't know it was gonna go the way that it went. It went amazing. So people wanted my work. And it just went from there, y'all. Now I'm just going to a new chapter of my life. I'm just painting them and posting them for sale. So 2022 will be my first year well, we can't even say the first year because I actually took a order in the beginning of January of 2022. But I wanted to go this year without taking orders and just post the babies when they ready and see how it goes. So that is my story. Like I say, Nisha, she's doing very well now. She is now 21. She's um, cancer free and living her best life. So that is how I end up becoming a reborn baby doll artist. Now, <laughs> my goal now, I wanna be a content creator. So can y'all help me out, share me out, follow me and all that good stuff, subscribe to the channel and uh, help me get to where I need to be. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed my story and I know I'm probably forgetting some things. If I do, I'll add them in. 